for this 2018 NBA season. There's the buzzer. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again, back-to-back -back titles, three in four years, and the latest with a sweep. Latrell Sprewell is on suspension for attacking Golden State Warriors coach P.J. Carlissimo. His coaching style does not mean that somebody has the right to choke him. Right now, what's your identity, would you say? I think it's a good question, man. I think that's, that's a real good question. Um, some, like I said, like I said earlier, a lot will be determined with a lot we don't know. Fresh shot clock, Sasha will fall away. Oh, and Ariza with the slam. Look at him get up there. That's just poor fundamentals, though, by the Warriors. Find your man and put a body on him first, then go get the ball. I want to thank our Warrior fans for their commitment and passion to this organization. Uh, they deserve better than what we've been able to deliver over the course of the last several seasons, and uh, we are committed to, to doing whatever it takes to, to win. With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. You were talking about uh, playing alongside Stephen Curry. It's tough and maybe a little more difficult if both of you are on the floor right now, and maybe even right now, him being a rookie. It, it takes time to learn how to play this game. Everybody knows the business. So every year, another player come in your position. The disgruntled Jackson, one of the major links to the team's last playoff run, became disenchanted with the makeup of the team and have been trying to orchestrate a trade since midsummer. Jackson had said, quote, I'm just looking to go somewhere where I can go win a championship. He, he can take him off the dribble. He chooses a three. And he bangs it home over him. Curry has saved his best for last. 42 points. With the sixth pick in the 2010 draft, NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Epe Udo from Baylor University. Well, it's been a long time since the Warriors had an all-star, and they acquire one today in David Lee, the power forward and a sign-in trade from the New York Knicks. I think we have a chance to do some special things, and, and like I said, a good young court that can grow together. So I think it's, it turns into a great situation. Peter and I just want to thank all of you for the opportunity to run this franchise going forward. If you look up there, that is a very lonely flag. We want another one. Epi is a complete player, and it's, uh, it's kind of nice to be able to get somebody with more than just one skill. And a lot of these guys have more than one, but some are just specialists where they're either outstanding shooters or outstanding rebounders. Another three-point shot by Darrell Wright, and that's a franchise record. Nine threes made tonight. Breaking news, this just into SportsCenter. Mama, there goes that man. Golden State has found its man. The Warriors announcing tonight Mark Jackson will take over as head coach by the Bay. It's Jackson's first head coaching gig in the NBA. With the 11th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Clay Thompson from Washington State University. Monte Ellis, Steph Curry backcourt, that experiment, it just didn't work. Mm -hmm. So I like the I like the balance of the roster a little bit more. Curry, if he's healthy, Clay Thompson, the rookie, getting more minutes, and then Lee and Bogut up front. I like it. I love the action. Parker has six assists already tonight to go with his nine points. Timeout, Golden State. The Warriors have promoted Bob Myers to be their new general manager. Larry Riley will remain with the team as the director of scouting. My love for the NBA started with this team. And so for me, it's more than just a job. It's, uh, I can't wait to get started. 
four years, 44 million. That's essentially 11 million a year for a guy with no ankles. That's a horrible <laughs> contract. No, he played 26 games last year. He's still hurt now. And that's just not something you want from a guy who can do nothing but score. His assists aren't that great. He can't really rebound. But he's, he's going to be hurt. With the seventh pick, the Golden State Warriors select Harrison Barnes from the University of North Carolina. The 35th pick, the Golden State Warriors select Draymond Green from Michigan State University. I actually think Steph is a tweener because he shoots a lot for a point guard. He gave up more than he gave. I want a guy who can, I need a stopper at my point. I can't let my point guard give up 42 points. Shot clock off, down one at 10. The corner three. John Salmons gave Clay Johnson too much room. I want to just thank you guys. Obviously, it didn't end the way we wanted it to, but all the hard work and the foundation we built this year, we're going to keep getting growing and keep getting back to, to this level next year. Despite losing Carl Landry and Jared Jack, the Warriors did sign a very impressive player in Andre Iguodala, and they were in the race for Dwight Howard. So I think, you know, last year's playoff run really did a big uh, sales job for them. And I, when I saw Steph's the video when he said it, he was, to me, he looked like he was joking. Uh, We're going to win a championship next year. You know, like, yeah. yeah, of course he's confident. He's tragically flawed as a basketball player, where he's got tissue paper ankles. Both of them are bad. If he can stay healthy, he, yeah. he, pr he might be the best point guard in the yeah. league next year. Well, Iguodala. Uh-oh. to the double crossover and draws the foul. And a standing ovation for a double crossover move by Iguodala. Love, not right, not fair. I was frustrated. We fought so hard this whole series, this whole season, to uh, put ourselves in a position to advance in the playoffs. So very, very frustrated, disappointed. Things right now, for sure. I have no idea why he was coaching for his life. You know, they made the playoffs one time in 17 years before he got there, and he got them to the playoffs back to back years. They uh, they were not the team that was going to beat the Clippers. The Clippers had a better team. But at the first sign of trouble next regular season, you know where the criticism is going to be aimed at the head, the new head coach. Oh, no more Mark Jackson. New coach Steve Kerr has never coached a dribble in his life. Wow, he's going to be on the hot seat pretty quickly there. I think Clay Thompson will end up being in the deal. If you look at Golden State, you know they have they have big plans. You know they believe if they're able to get their hands on Kevin Love, that they can combine him with Stephen Curry and potentially try to offer themselves up to free agents in various sign and trade deals to add another piece. To and the Warriors found their backup to Steph Curry. They signed six foot seven guard Sean Livingston. He can play the point, shooting guard, three year deal, 16 million. No Warriors, no Warriors. The, the I don't like jump shooting team. I don't think you can win the championship be good team shoot jumpers. But they're not even top three in your mind? No, because I like the big men on those other three teams. You want to see a dribble move? Watch this one. Double behind your back, knock it down, and the bench is loving it. Get it to him again. He's got it. His three. Have you ever seen anything like it? Well, if you're wondering what the NBA record is for most points in a quarter, you just watched it. Everybody on the court produced. Made, made plays. Um, the guys in here before me, HB, can't say enough about his performance tonight on both ends of the floor. It was a, it was special, I think, because everybody was kind of enjoying the moment. I feel blessed. You wouldn't say that. <laughs> and the dream season is now complete. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. Their first title in 40 years. And how sweet it must be for those crazy loyal Bay Area fans. David Lee, thankful to have a championship, but wanted to go somewhere where he could play more, boost his value for next summer when the big money comes in from the TV money and the 
cap goes up. So can you maybe shift your opinion on how you can win a finals? No, not really, because I still think if Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving had been healthy, they would have won that series. But I don't think the NBA all of a sudden is going to have a bunch of three-point shooters and uh, play a bunch of small lineups. You do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining. Shooting of Stephen Curry continues. And he ties the NBA record with his 12th three-pointer of the game. I think Steph Curry just played the greatest single season we have ever seen any NBA player have. Last night made his 402nd three-point shot, breaking his record by 116 set last year. That's crazy. How we doing? Still hype? I'm great. Absolutely. Got the finals we all wanted. That is a fact. I know I'm much better than Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook are at this moment. Well, who is it? That's yeah. a correct. Thank you. Final seconds. It's over. It's over. Cleveland is a city of champions once again. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. What happened to the Golden State Warriors? They're up one going to the fourth quarter and they managed a grand total of 13 points at home in game seven. What? Players set to be free agents in 2016 could get paid big time. Thanks to the NBA's new multi-billion dollar TV deal, the salary cap is expected to spike. This is a story that I just don't buy. Durant to the Warriors. I think there's zero chance it happens in Hollywood, in a star-driven business. In Hollywood, you don't want to become the also starring dot, 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 this guy. Breaking news. It happened. It's here, and it's Golden State for Kevin Durant. Wow. Think about that team. Think about a 73-win regular season team, one win shy of back-to-back -back NBA titles, and they just got the last MVP to win that award, not name Steph Curry. Unbelievable, unbelievable. How are you viewing this move from Durant? Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. So, but the flip side is this. They were up 3-1 in the Western Conference Finals. Three times he failed, particularly in game six. And you depart for the team that beat you, you're jumping on a bandwagon as far as I'm concerned. You know, a lot of people complained we sat before the season last year, right? Well, how could KD what, what do you mean you went from Oklahoma City to the team that beat you? You can't do that in the Super Team. All the stuff we talked about. But do you think he's, he's shutting up people up? I mean, back-to-back -back championships, back-to-back -back NBA final MVPs. I don't know what else he could do to prove that he made the right decision.